Hey, fish people, welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you with my 365 days of fish keeping series. That means I will be posting one video a day for all of 2022, highlighting a fish, a plant, a fish food, equipment, anything fish related. These videos are going to be real quick snapshots of the subject for the day. We're talking about fish or plants or a quick synopsis with a little care guide. Same with food or equipment. I will give everything a rating from 1 to 10 based on my personal likes and dislikes of either the product or the fish and ease of care of everything. And as always, please remember to smash that sub button. Helps me all out when you guys do that. And let's get into the video, everybody. For this video, I want to focus on a plant that many people use as a background plant in their tanks. It's, you know, Val scenario. Uh, the most common being the Italian Val. That's the one you're going to see at most fish stores. That just straight, narrow leafed one. Uh, it's also called eelgrass, tape grass, or straight Val. It, it is native to large portions of Africa, both North and South, Eastern Europe, and Asia. There's also some species in Australia now, as well as the North American continent. Now, due to its stability to thrive in waters all around the world, it has actually become banned in some places like New Zealand because they want to avoid it taking over and starving out more native plants. They don't want it to become an invasive species, basically. So it's a member of the Hydrocardaceae family. I'm going to put the name on the screen because I probably said it wrong. So it's related to a lot of the common plants that we have in our tank, one including frogbit. So it's actually related to a floater. This plant is easy for some people, and it's on their easy list for that reason because it can, you know, take over a tank. Uh, some say within three days you plant this, you'll actually see shooters coming through your tank from the base plant. Um, it's been different in my waters. I have not had as much good luck, but there's a couple of reasons that could be one being a thicker substrate. It is different from other aquatic plants because it actually grows completely submerged, whereas other ones can grow immersed or submerged. This one has to grow underwater. Otherwise, its leaves will just die off. So it actually won't grow shooters that are going to go out of the water like some plants will. That's why you see it flop over in your tanks. Now, Val is kind of like a horse of many colors, or as many hats you could say, because depending on the water conditions, it can actually change and grow differently wherever it's planted, which is why there are so many different kinds of this plant around the world. Uh, they are going to survive in temperatures anywhere from 60 up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you're going to put it in a community tank, it's going to be in the 70s and you'll be fine. pH wise, they're going to want 6.5 to about 7.6, maybe a little higher, but they're going to want something that's more neutral to alkaline because anything lower than a pH of 6 will actually kill the plant, which could be one of the reasons that mine died because my water does settle at a pH of six without a buffer. They're a root plant, so you might need to give them a little boost in the form of a root tab just to help them with their propagation and to help sure that they flourish. Now, depending on the type of value you buy, they can grow anywhere from 12 inches upwards of 30 plus inches. So make sure you have a nice tall tank, depending on what kind you're getting. Now for lighting, they're going to want a moderate light, something that's not too strong, something that's not too weak, and they'll be just fine. Overall, Val is an easy plant for some. It can thrive in almost any water, depending on pH levels and the substrate not being too thick so that it can shoot its roots off. It is on a lot of people's beginners list, but for me and me trying to do a couple different kinds and most of my tanks are not doing well, I'm going to go ahead and give Val a 7.5 out of 10 instead of something a little higher, just because it can be a little finicky depending on your pH. But again, for other people, it'll grow like a weed, and then you got a lot of trimming maintenance anyway. So I'm still going to drop it down a few pegs for that. As always, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you're new here and you enjoyed the content, remember to hit that little sub button down there, ding the bell, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you've kept Val, if it grows great for you, if it doesn't grow. I feel like I'm in the minority here. I can't grow Val. My duckweed dies. My plant stuff is weird. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one.